Good evening. Um, I'm Andrew Bowie, and on behalf of Lumen Civitatis co-founder Steve DeNegri and my father Steve, who serves on the board, uh, I'd like to welcome you all to uh, our second and final uh, event for the Jubilee Year of Mercy speaker series. We began back in the spring with John Michael Talbot, who uh, gave a beautiful presentation on the Jesus Prayer and, and led us in a wonderful uh, night of prayer. And we look forward to uh, a special night uh, in expectation uh, this evening. Uh, at this moment, I would like to invite Bishop Designate Holly up uh, to provide, he's graciously offered to provide some opening remarks for us. Good evening. Your Excellency, Archbishop Roach, Secretary of the Congregation for the Divine Worship and Discipline of the Sacraments. On behalf of the members and friends of Lumen Civitatis, what a pleasure it is to have you to visit us here in the Diocese of Memphis to present to, present to us a talk entitled Mercy and the Spiritual Life. As Bishop Designate appointed by Pope Francis, soon to be the fifth Bishop of Memphis. It was on October, it is on October the 19th, 2016. And so I'm so delighted that you are able to take this time out of your very busy schedule to be with us during this time. So welcome and thank you for being here with us. And to any of my brother priests who may be present or religious men and women in consecrated life, and especially members of the Board of Lumen Civitatis and welcome guests. Thank you for your support and presence here this evening as well. You know, this Jubilee year has been an extraordinary time for the people, uh, for people from all around the world. And how appropriate it is for us to have His Excellency Archbishop Roach to address us this evening concerning the experience of the mercy of Almighty God in our own spiritual lives and in the spiritual lives of our neighbor. And 12 years ago on July the 2nd, 2004, when I was ordained an auxiliary bishop of the Archdiocese of Washington, I chose the motto, His Mercy Endures, because of my own experience of the mercy of God in my life as a priest of the Diocese of Pensacola, Tallahassee. I was a pastor of Little Flower Parish and had a great love for St. Therese and of course, our Blessed Mother Mary. But it was during this time that I became acquainted with the Diary of St. Faustina as well as the Divine Mercy Chaplet, which began to grow more and more stronger in my life. And since Little Flower Parish had a reputation for offering the sacrament of penance, of reconciliation and confession, and people would come from all over Pensacola to receive the mercy of Almighty God in, in this sacrament. I too, as a confessor and a confessed, began to examine more and more the mercy of God in my own spiritual life. So when I was appointed an auxiliary bishop on the day after the press conference and after I returned back home to Pensacola, I woke up that next morning to a gentle, female voice singing as if it was on my heart and in my mind, singing, his mercy endures forever. And so I sat on the side of the bed and the singing seemed to continue as I searched for my Bible and I found the verse where it said, his mercy endures forever. And it was from that experience that I began to read more and more about St. Faustina in her diary. And I began to pray daily the Divine Mercy Chaplet. And when I arrived in Washington, it was quite natural that I finally made my way to the Marians of the Immaculate Conception Seminary on the campus of Catholic University and became great friends with that community through their long friendship with, a, with Bishop Elliot Thomas, who's a friend of mine. And he's a Bishop Emeritus of the Diocese of St. Thomas and the American Virgin Islands. So in the, the past 12 years, 
I visited the National Shrine of the Divine Mercy in Stockbridge. I have ordained a number of their seminarians and offered mass at the shrine, and of course, the rest is history. And so again, I deeply am grateful to His Excellency, Archbishop Arthur Roach, for his presence with us this evening. And I look forward to listening to his talk and also beginning a lifelong friendship and hopefully to visit with him sometime next year in Rome. So Archbishop Roach, you are always welcome here in the Diocese of Memphis. And may God bless you, and may our Blessed Mother Mary keep you in the mantle of her maternal care. And remember that his mercy endures. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Merciful Father, we are here this evening and we give you thanks for the gift of your mercy in our lives. And as we prepare to listen to this talk by His Excellency, our Archbishop Roach, we ask that you continue to pour out your mercy upon us so that we may always know and do your will. We make these prayers through Christ our Lord who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 